how to get pregnant with ovarian cysts. In this video, I'll be telling you what ovarian cyst actually means, what causes this cyst, when you should be concerned, and most importantly, the different types of this cyst and how to treat them in order to get pregnant. If you're new to my channel, I'm Dr. Amarachi Ijoma. I am a fertility physician, and my channel focuses on everything fertility and women's health. So if this is the kind of content you're interested in, keep watching. <music> Ovarian cysts are simply sacs that contain fluid in the ovary or on the surface of the ovary. They are usually seen on ultrasound scan. It is extremely common and depending on where you are in your menstrual cycle, a cyst could be very normal. Yes, a lot of cysts are normal. By the end of this video, you will know whether to worry about seeing an ovarian cyst on scan or whether you should just chill and be like, I'm good. But it is important to note that some cysts are abnormal and those ones we should worry about. At the beginning of your menstrual cycle, your ovaries produce a lot of tiny sacs called follicles that contain fluid, water. Technically, those sacs of fluid are cysts. Remember I explained that cysts are simply sacs of fluid. So your follicles are cysts. And it's your follicles that contains the egg. So these cysts have eggs inside them. They're usually less than 10 millimeters in size. But then your brain releases a hormone called FSH, which causes one of the cysts to grow. So your brain is using this hormone to send a message to the eggs in the ovaries, telling the eggs to grow. Then one of the cysts will then begin to grow more than the others. The bigger the cyst, the more mature the egg. At this stage, the cyst is causing the release of another hormone called estrogen. When the egg is mature, this hormone called estrogen will then tell the brain to release another hormone called LH. This LH will now cause the cyst that is the leading follicle to rupture, to burst, and release an egg into the fallopian tube. The release of this egg from the cyst is called ovulation. After the rupture, the cyst will then heal back up and form a different type of cyst that is more solid. This new cyst will then cause the rise of another hormone called progesterone. This is the hormone that helps to support pregnancy if your egg fertilizes. But if fertilization does not occur, that is, if no pregnancy occurs, then the new cyst can only live for about 14 days before it disappears. Once it disappears, the progesterone level drops, and then you get another period, that is, another menstrual cycle. So technically, you have two types of cysts during your menstrual cycle, and they are both normal. They are usually both less than 20 millimeters in size. Let me take us back a little bit. Remember when I said that ovulation occurs when the biggest cyst, the leading follicle, ruptures and releases an egg? Well, sometimes that leading sac of fluid might be close to a blood vessel. So when the sac bursts and releases the egg, instead of the sac to heal back up, the blood vessel that was located close to it will now bleed into the sac or into your abdomen, your belly. It can cause mild to moderate pain because it irritates the lining of your abdomen. This happens more often than you know. The cyst that is formed when the blood vessel bleeds into the empty sac is called a functional cyst. And guess what? This cyst is also normal. They usually heal up on their own. You don't need to do surgery or to take any treatment for it. But if this functional cyst persists, that is, if it occurs continuously, your doctor can place you on birth control pills that contain the hormone called estrogen. These pills will prevent the cyst from forming the following months because it prevents the sac of fluid from growing. And when this happens, ovulation cannot occur. So the sac of fluid, that is the cyst, will remain very tiny. So you see, most cysts are functional because of ovulation. Also, there's this medical condition called PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. This is diagnosed when you have two out of the following criteria. One, few periods or no periods at all. Two, acne or excessive hairs all over your body. Three, multiple tiny cysts located on the edge of your ovaries, usually less than 10 millimeters. I have a full video on PCOS. If you're interested, click the link above. This cysts in PCOS are not harmful. Yes, in PCOS, you have reduced chances of getting pregnant, but these cysts, they do not cause you any pain. But there's this other cyst called endometrioma. It occurs in women who have endometriosis. Endometriosis is simply a condition that occurs when the inner lining of your womb is found on other structures in your body. When a woman with endometriosis ovulates, that is, when the leading sac of fluid ruptures for an egg to come out, before this sac can heal back, 
Some of the tissues that line the inner part of the womb would find its way into the cyst. After this happens, the sac will now heal with those tissues inside it. When this happens, it's called endometrioma. This is stage four endometriosis. The endometrium keeps growing bigger and bigger and can cause severe pain and scars on the ovaries. It can also reduce the amount of eggs in your ovaries. The treatment can either be medical or surgical. For medical, we give injectable medications that stop you from menstruating or ovulating for about three to six months. It is like artificial menopause, but just for three to six months. So when we prevent ovulation, more of these tissues that line the inner part of your womb won't be able to get into the cyst to cause harm. It can really be difficult to take out surgically. And surgery can cause scarring to your ovaries, which can lead to a drop in the amount of eggs in your ovaries. So when trying to get pregnant, surgery should not be your first option. Medical treatment to prevent ovulation just for a few months should be your first option. Well, a fertility doctor will discuss what option is best for you. There is another type of cyst that is not as common. It is called dermoid cysts. This is comprised of hair, teeth, and fat. They can cause pain and put your ovaries at risk of twisting on itself. The treatment for this is surgery, but we don't just jump into surgery. We monitor the cyst first, but if it grows greater than five centimeter or is causing severe pain, surgery is going to be done. The last cyst I will talk about is ovarian cancer. Ovarian cancer usually presents with cysts, but the cysts are usually simple and they are hard to diagnose with an ultrasound scan. So we would want to know if you have symptoms like abdominal bloating or swelling, feeling full very quickly when you're having a meal, weight loss, discomfort in your pelvic region, fatigue, back pain, constipation, and frequent urination. Also, we would conduct some blood tests. If you have a family history of ovarian cancer, it would be helpful in diagnosis. The treatment includes surgery, chemotherapy, immunotherapy, and supportive therapy. So when next you're told that you have ovarian cysts, ask what type and what size. If you found this video informative and you want more content like this, subscribe to my channel, like this video, share with your friends, and if you have questions, drop it in the comment section below, and see you in my next video. Thank you.